Oh, uh, hey there, everyone. I, I I didn't see you there. I was just practicing my trumpeting for band tryouts. But uh, anyway, um, I am so happy to see you at church today. What was the best part of your week? Oh, that's awesome. Well, this week is only going to get better. Why, you ask? Because it's time to play a game? This game is called Tune In. Here's how to play. I will be saying a word or phrase, and you will have 20 seconds to try to guess what I'm saying. But you won't be able to hear me. You'll have to read my lips. So let's try a practice round. The phrase was watermelon. Did you get it right? Great job. I, I think you guys are ready. Here we go. It was lying. You guys are really getting the hang of this. So let's do the next one. Great job! It was french fries. All right, are you guys ready for the last one? Here we go. It was light bulb. That one was a little tricky, but you guys did so amazing. Now, let's take a look at our memory verse. Hey everyone, our memory verse is found in Joshua 1, 9. It says, be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Joshua 1, 9. Let's all say that together. Repeat after me. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Joshua 1, 9. Awesome job, guys. Let's say it one more time, but this time, let's say it in a country accent. Okay, here we go. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Joshua 1, 9. You guys did amazing. I'll see you later. That was fantastic. Now let's stand up like you're ready for battle. Awesome. We're going to declare God's word over our lives because God's word is what? That's right, it's powerful. Let's declare this in one, two, three, four.
great job. Now stay standing and let's get ready for worship.
It's so good to see you guys. I love it when you get to join us for church. It is the best day of the week. Hey, um, have you guys seen my friend Leo? He's a lion. He should be around here somewhere. He said he was gonna come help with the lesson today. You know, maybe if we call him, he'll come. Let's try it. Help me out, okay? Leo! 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 Oh, 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 Leo, what in the world? Oh, hey, Miss Nikki. Thanks for your help with the landing. Uh, oh, hello, kids. Um, Leo, what are you doing and why are you dressed like that? Oh, well, I know we're talking about things we can be brave in and I know that superheroes are brave, so I decided to dress up like a superhero so that I would be brave in all the things superheroes are brave in. So bring on the superhero stuff. Crime fighting, hi -ya! Jumping over buildings in a single bound. Whoa! Uh, uh, well, we'll get to that later. <laughs> uh, Leo, you're right, okay? Superheroes are brave, but you don't have to be a superhero to be brave. Being brave isn't about fighting crime or jumping really tall buildings. Oh, it, it's not? No, here, let me help you get this off. Would you like to help us with our lesson today? I think that it might be really awesome because you'd help us learn a lot about what we can be brave in. Oh yes, I would love to help. Great. All right, so uh, Miss Nikki, what are the things that we can be brave in? I am so glad you asked, Leo. Today, we're talking about how we can be brave in the impossible. In the impossible? That seems kind of hard. Are you sure we can be brave in that? I'm positive, Leo. And you know what? 
I think I have a Bible story that might help us out. Oh, I love Bible stories. Me too. This is the story of Gideon. Whoa, that's a cool name. Gideon was an Israelite. God did amazing things through him. You see, God told Gideon that he would lead an army against the Midianites. Now, Gideon was the weakest in his entire family, but God told Gideon that he would give him victory over the Midianites. So Gideon took an army of 30,000 men and they set up camp near the Midianites. Wow, 30,000? That's a lot of warriors. Surely Gideon would win with that many men. Well, let's see what happened the next morning. This is in Judges 7, verse 2 through 3. It says, The Lord said to Gideon, I want to hand Midian over to you, but you have too many men for me to do that. Then Israel might brag, My own strength has saved me. So here is what I want you to announce to the army. Tell them, those who tremble with fear can turn back. They can leave Mount Gilead. So 22,000 men left, but 10,000 remained. What? Oh no, so 20,000 men left Gideon's army? How many men were in the Midianite army? Well, the Midianite army had 135,000. Leo, are, are you okay? Leo, you. 135,000? Well, at least Gideon had about 10,000 left. Well. What? God told Gideon again that he had too many men in his army, that he needed to get rid of some more. So that's what Gideon did, and... And what? 5,000? Nope. 3,000? Nope. Oh, come on. 1,000? 1, 1,000 men? Nope. 300. 300? Yep. Only 300 remained in Gideon's army. Wow. 135,000 Midianites versus only 300 Israelites with Gideon? That seems kind of impossible that they're going to win. It does, doesn't it? Well, what happened next? Well, actually, the impossible happened. You see, God told Gideon to have each of the men surround the Midianite army. Once the whole army was surrounded, God told them to blow their trumpets and smash pots and shout, for the Lord and for Gideon. They listened and to what God said and surrounded the Midianite camp. And when Gideon gave the signal, the- Whoa, okay. Where did you get a trumpet? From my friend Billy. <laughs> well, it definitely helps with the story. All you need now is a pot to smash. <laughs> oh, hold, oh, hold on. <laughs> All right, uh, here you go. Oh, cool. <laughs> Wow, you know, this is a really good example for story immersion. Oh, well, great. Well, what happened next? Well, Gideon gave the signal and... For the oh, Lord, Lord and, and for, for Gideon. Gideon! When the 300 trumpets sounded, the Lord caused the men throughout the enemy's camp to turn on each other with their swords. The Midianites started attacking each other? Yes. God went before Gideon and his army and confused the Midianites. Wow, that is so cool. So because God went before Gideon, that's what made Gideon brave? Yes, you got it. Wow, so Miss Nikki, what does that mean for us? Does God go before us in impossible situations too? He absolutely does, Leo. You see, 300 men winning against 135,000 men? That was impossible. Gideon was an ordinary guy, but he was brave in the impossible. He knew that God would go before him and give him victory over the Midianites because God told him he would. You may not be facing an army of 135,000 men, but I bet you may be facing something in your life right now 
that seems impossible. Maybe it's the way school looks this year. Maybe it seems impossible to do school that way. Or maybe you're trying to learn how to do something new and it seems impossible that you're ever gonna be able to figure it out. Can I tell you some good news? We can be brave in the impossible because God goes before us. God will help us just like he helped Gideon and the Israelite army. Would you pray with me? Let's pray and ask God to help us be brave in the impossible. He goes before us and he wants to help make us brave. Father, we love you so much. Thank you for today. Thank you that you go before us and that because of that, we can be brave in situations that seem impossible. Would you help us to see things the way you do and help us to know that you will always go before us. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, I love the story of Gideon. It is so amazing how anything is possible with God. It isn't about what we don't have or how big our enemy may seem. We can be brave when we face challenges because we know that God always wins. And when God wins, we win. Our God is bigger than anything we could ever face. And if you're facing a difficult situation today, we have a special challenge for you guys. We want you to draw a picture of the situation you're facing, whatever it might be. Next, add yourself to the picture. If you didn't already, and then last but not least, we want you to draw a picture of God right beside you as big as you can. Keep your drawing up where you can see it to remind yourself every day that God is with you and he makes you brave. And if you would like to share it with us, you can tag us at Gateway Kids on social media. And if you would like to connect, text connect to 71010. Guys, we love you so much, and we'll see you next time.